everyone. Um, welcome to the adventure vlog. We're back again, and this time we have two very, very gorgeous guests. Yeah, this is uh, Jaden, <laughs> and this is Elisha. Um, they're ex students of our school. Yeah, I used to teach this one. Never had the pleasure to teach that one, but I had the pleasure of watching him perform and dance. <laughs> Yeah, so the reason why they're here, tell them why you're here. Okay, so basically, uh, we've actually agreed to uh, help out and we're going to try out, test out this project which is called uh, Just Dance Project because I'm pretty sure Just Dance is one of the famous games that require you to play the game but you have to move to the music and you have to dance to the music. So now we actually have this idea of putting Just Dance but however, putting an extra value behind it which is helping you memorize your things and in this case because we are students we're helping to memorize our subjects the things that we need to study and we need to memorize and it could be physics it could be chemistry biology or basically anything uh, storytelling whatever basically anything that you need to memorize basically we are transforming it into a dance so that it will be easier for you you want to see what what you can do what this dance just dance academy can do ASA Venture Studio stands for basically uh, finding different ways for people to learn and different effective ways. So some people might learn well through games, some people might learn well through just pure reading. Like I can do that, but some people may not be able to sit still long enough to do that. They might prefer to do. Yeah. So that's why I have an expert here who uses dance to help him study actually. So yeah, let's hear more from Jaden. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um... How I see it, there are two types of people when it comes to studying. The hyperactive one and the super technical one. As you know, the super technical one, when it comes to studying, they just like sit on the table, open their book and study for hours. Sit down, just study, 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 flip, study, 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 flip, and make a score. So that's a good thing. But for me, I'm the hyperactive one. I cannot sit still. Like I sit, I sit down for five minutes, open the book, I get bored. <laughs> or maybe I play my phone and play a game, play a game, play a game and delay, delay, delay and then it'll affect my studies. Yeah. So instead, I tend to do something what I call the not so technical hyperactive movement thing. I actually don't have a name for it. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't have a name for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, make it better. Yeah. <laughs> <Trade> well. <laughs> so for me, um, instead of sitting down and studying, I like take the book, walk around the house, and try to remember while I'm moving around. So if that doesn't help, yeah. I'll like take a piece of paper and summarize the textbook, like make a mind map out of it, and then paste it on the wall with a mirror in front of me. And from there, I'll use dance to help me because yeah. um, when I curve up something and I keep practicing it, dancers we have something called the muscle memory. We use muscle memory, so. When we go for competitions, after like tons of practices, once we go for competition, we're not scared because once we start dancing, everything plays by itself. Like, am I doing this by myself? Or oh, my mind is helping me doing it? Yeah. So when I choreograph to like physics, for example, using the notes, I make, okay, this movement is for that one. Okay, okay, I understand. So when I practice, I'll say, okay, this one is that one. So when that one goes higher, this one goes lower. And I keep doing it over and over again. So when it comes to the exam time, when I encounter that specific question, I start to, uh, in my mind, I start to dance the whole routine. Okay, okay, uh, this one higher than lower. Oh, okay, so it's higher to low. So high to low. Mm. So that's how I see myself like, when right. it comes to studying. Um, and we take major exams here in Asia. Yeah, and so we have to remember like three years worth of, of information. And the worst part is that once you step out, of the exam hall, there's a magical portal where when you step through, you forget everything that you've ever studied. <laughs> and then when it comes to the final exam, you have, because in the finals, you have to remember everything from the beginning all the way to the end, then you know you have to spend more time studying and it's actually not that easy remembering. Even though you may have studied it before, but if you didn't study effectively, you'd have to really work really hard to remember everything yes. all over again. And even then, like you'd still forget. Yes. Yeah, so so we often find, like for me, I'm a big believer in finding different ways of remembering better faster. Um, so I always look for things like, um, can I remember it like immediately and can I remember it for a long time? Yeah. 
So that's why we did. That's why we're doing games, and that's why this time around we're attempting the dancing thing as well because it might help someone out there uh, save all that time from actually slogging through the, the textbook. Yeah. And it, um, I think Teacher Anne explains it this way. When and you're gonna see it. Um, these guys are brilliant. Yeah. Um, we're gonna be playing a bit of Jaden's uh, piece, and we're gonna be playing a bit of. Uh, and you're gonna see uh, Aloysius teach his steps and moves. That creativity, when you think about how to remember the move, that kind of, it's like a memory palace sort of effect, right? Where you're attaching it to something and in their, in their case, they're attaching it to a dance move. And, and the, t the time it takes for them to process, to create that move that makes sense, that's what enables the information to kind of stick inside the long-term memory. Thank you guys for being here and thank you for doing this. We'll see you in video one, part one, where you'll be teaching chemistry about the behavior process. I'll see you guys there.